thanks for taking the time to make this quick review. Uh, I have my book on Amazon. Uh, it would encourage you to read the variation in the in the documentation of the grammar on this to see a reason why you need to spend your time uh, writing uh, uh, essential books. Not just as a product, but uh, as a knowledge. So, to understand the problem of uh, self adjoinance for the momentum operator, that is, uh, uh, if you have time to try to understand maybe what, uh, the theory behind the uh, uh, quantum mechanics. Physics of, uh, of quantum mechanics. There is an extra term uh, uh, that does not satisfy the required rules of relation, the Cartesian coordinates. Of course, uh, you need to know that uh, we have several types of coordinates. Okay. So, <clears throat> what's the problem here? Uh, this extra term is not square integral. So we need uh, to find a solution and that is uh, using the covariant derivative to solve or implement a complex value function of the total associated space with the principal bundle. That is of course not in uh, uh, Rd, that is a Euclidean space. So we need to eliminate this extra term by choosing this identity uh, uh, form uh, appropriately. So, uh, what is this covariant uh, derivative? When it's acting on a vector field, it solves the problem of this extra term contrary to a function okay, to achieve this self adjoinance. So, there the, the are, uh, the, are some required relations when uh, 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 finding these derivations. Uh, there is a uh, is a commutator relationship which must be satisfied. Uh, this self adjoinance is actually a tensor bundle in your mind. Now, uh, this would be a good time to refresh yourself on uh, uh, matrices, and uh, of course, if you're not familiar with the Jacobian identity, this, uh, this is a good time to have a look. Now, there's the determinant of a bilinear form in this matrix is not scalar. Uh, for instance, uh, it picks an inverse factor, okay? And this inverse factor is an inner product, or rather an operator inserted in, in a vector field, okay? In this case, we're using a one form base space, okay, of the young maze field, uh, uh, for any choice of coordinates in a manifold. So we're not restricting ourselves uh, with the Cartesian coordinate. So we have problems there for this extra term. So for any local manifold, uh, we can now realize the commutator relationship of this self adjoinance okay, on a curved space since uh, uh, the vector space is well defined. Uh, uh, in this case, we have a, uh, 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 an observable which is two real omegas okay, of the gradient field. All right, so what's the utility behind uh, this uh, short presentation? The mechanics behind uh, 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 the theory is there is a push forward of the vector field, okay, and it only exists if the map is an isomorphism. Uh, 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 what do you mean uh, by an isomorphism? That is, uh, the transformations do not change, but the matrices do not change the matrices of the base manifold. So, uh, uh, if you Think uh, which rep exists. Trust me, the matrices are the biggest and the lifetime witchcraft you'll ever come across in your life. Uh, 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 another utility is uh, the principle of the conserved constants. Okay? Uh, uh, the potential on a rotating vector field on a chosen axis doesn't change. Okay? That is, uh, it's a quadrature, quadrature unit of rotation. So it means it's invariant. 
And this invariant is what is really important for any field in uh, uh, either physics or uh, computer science. Okay? And uh, of course, another utility is uh, uh, the formulation of theorems. Uh, in this case, uh, uh, every left invariant vector field, okay, there is a, uh, again, there is a mechanics involved when uh, uh, composing uh, the formulation. There is a left invariant vector field, okay, and specifically on a Lie group, okay, when it's, it's complete, that is uh, the derivative of this identity is a tangent vector or tangent band. And of course, uh, at this point, we'll be able to satisfy the commutator relation uh, uh, contrary to the problem we had the Cartesian product. This applies to any manifold. All right. Then uh, another utility is uh, uh, differential topology, where uh, uh, a function is a uh, homotopy equivalence with respect to the identity map. Okay. This is very important. Uh, if you look at uh, John Milner's uh, presentations and read his books, you really understand what it makes. He explains this very clearly. Uh, and uh, more importantly. The biggest utility for my presentation is functional design. Okay. So, <clears throat> as an example, if we have a predicate of a left hand operator and it's true, that means the right hand operator cannot affect the result of the logical or uh, uh, operator. Okay. Logical or operator uh, use the double pipes. Okay. Uh, and thus, it's not evaluated. So, what's the benefit of this? It causes us to evaluate the then branch, all right? So, uh, 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 in the case, uh, a simple example is uh, in using a, a pure type system, okay? Like uh, Haskell or Rust. Uh, when you're trying to uh, uh, compose an enumeration, we write a function as a series of equations, okay? To get an ordered set of, of boundary points, you see this is a very clear example when you uh, ask to implement a gram scan algorithm. Okay, that is uh, when you find the convex hull of a given set of points. So, uh, uh, knowing the signature of this function alone, it limits the possible value behaviors it could have, and of course, it makes the job of understanding uh, code easy. Okay. Uh, uh, Knowing which part of the code has side effects, okay, and then you take the appropriate glance, okay. Now, uh, technically, it is necessary for constructive logic to reason about proofs and formulas. In the case above, uh, 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 where we are having uh, the, the problem of this extra term, the Cartesian product, for the derivative of an identity, there is a need to preserve this condition of an inverse or a conjugate equivalence relation and that this condition is trivial, okay, back in the Cartesian product. So uh, the linear basis uh, here is recovered, the, the, our solution as such is a linear basis which recovers the kernel as an identity operator sub. In the subspace. Uh, uh, for instance, of course, uh, uh, we do this by doing differentiation. Uh, uh, as, a, as, a, as an example, uh, we, we could write this down. If you take our horizontal subspace P in P, uh, uh, this will be equivalent to the kernel of the identity operator on P, which is defined as a, a manifold, which is an element of the tangent. Uh, 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 bundle in the subspace of P sent to an identity operator multiplied by the uh, 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 vector space in P, which is of course equal to zero. That means uh, this uh, identity operator is an identity basis. Okay. So the the uh, the entire uh, me or not, the entire structure of mathematics is based on this well-defined notion. But there is always a, a negative sign uh, 
in a composition of an identity. As an instance, a negative exponent, of course, yields a fraction. Uh, and this is an inverse operation. And what does it imply? That there is no further uh, extension to this system. Uh, in this case, it, it, we're dealing with numbers. So clearly, uh, uh, from the mass of us, oil is uh, Euler. Uh, he defined the logarithm as the exponent of an evolution. So what's the implication of this? Uh, so what I want to do in this presentation is to clearly address the need to understand this principle of the reciprocal. Uh, uh, the non-commutative relationship condition in the Catilia's product for a complex dimensional space and a complete formulation of the complex space. Uh, 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 or rather a complex dimensional manifold. So uh, let's uh, buy these good books. Uh, what you don't understand in this presentation uh, implies you need to what you need to learn. Yeah. So uh, I'll uh, also uh, post this on YouTube and also add a reference of the manuscript for those who understand uh, uh, better by reading instead of uh, listening. And uh, 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 thanks for watching.